145 pound final. We have Brett Window from Coatesville and Riley Palmer from Rock South. Window got here by way of win over Will Laughlin from North Penn and an injury default over Bryce Reddington of Methacton, who unfortunately I think he's uh, sitting in the front row over there with some crutches, unfortunately. Is he sitting yeah. across the way? I don't know. Uh, he's uh, just right over there. Oh, yep, I see him. It's unfortunate. Said my piece about uh, you know him and the pleasure it was to cover him over the last uh, several years. Just watch him wrestle. And um, maturing this great wrestler, and it's unfortunate that this injury happens. Uh, but Riley Palmer got here by way of win over Ryan Staku and Dan Mancini. And there we go, Riley, right on in the shot. Fire in the shot. Wendell undefeated, a bit of an unknown. Nice elbow pass, gets in another shot. Wendell counters, another hand pass. Wow. Directional change. Yeah, the misdirection there was nice. Great job getting hips away, or get Phenom hips rather, yeah. feet away. Palmer definitely a little more active than he was in uh, the first, the other two matches I saw yeah. this weekend. I only saw him take like one shot against Mancini in the semis. Yeah, he even, his score wasn't even on a shot. It was a defense. But doesn't matter what you win by as long as you win here in the post. A great shot fake there. Nice. And nice reshot attempt. He's in on the legs again. Wendell doing a good job countering. Back in the low leg. That's, that's fundamentals. Nice oh, yeah. changeover switch. Wendell facing him on Riley. Oh, gets the one back here. Oh, oh, it's hurt. No, I don't know. It, it did look like his yeah. head went right into the yeah. mat. No, I was kind of. I think it was his shoulder. Was there. it? Yeah. He's holding his face off. Yeah, I mean, he hit his chin, but he 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 hit his shoulder as well. Yeah. I don't know. Hard to, to say. Yeah, to me, it looked like the top of his head went into the mat. I mean, that Maybe could a be a little stinger. Are they going to give him the backs there? I mean, he's in criteria. Yep, he's got to get oh, yeah, at least gotta two get or three. Right back in the center. I mean, Wendell comes out of nowhere undefeated, runs a table here. He's dangerous. That's what they do. They give him two there? Three. Two and three. Wendell back up out of his base into his feet. Palmer's looking real fresh right now and yeah. tough on top here. Yeah, he, he's pretty hydrated. <laughs> Window gets out and makes it 5 1 here. 55 seconds going in the first period. You know, I never wrestled at this high a level. I know, Sam, you have. I mean, how hard is it when you're like Palmer here trying to win a regional title, but you're also trying to get on the medal stand at Hershey? I mean, kind of, you know, pressure is that for these Council Rock guys. I mean, they expect to win every match, just like the old yeah. upper birthdays. Yeah, he, uh, it, the pressure is uh, pretty immense. I mean, uh, I, I've never been Good in the regional here. final, but uh, I know, gets on top. I know uh, the pressure to get just to qualify is is uh, is intense, especially in a story program like Council Rock South. Glenn, uh, Carrie, or I'm sorry, Riley, wearing one of your favorite Rock South singlets there. Oh uh, yeah, we were talking about this earlier. And last year we talked about it in the finals. And you know the Concrete Kids in Northampton came out with this singlet back in the day, and uh, you might see a uh, throwback singlet tonight from. Uh, Nick Chapman, the Hatters. I think we might have our old Spidey suit out. So we'll see. And then everybody went with it. When Upper Moreland got that single, I think everyone's like, ah, it's gone too far. But, you know, Rock pulls them out. Yep. You know, the kids that like them, they're like, it's old school. Let's bring it out. I, I think every team has that old single that the kid finds in the bin, whether it's a oh, JV yeah. singlet. Yep. Yep. It doesn't matter what it is. Made from they, burlap, oh, like yeah. in the old school. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, we were talking about it earlier with some of the coaches. I used to wear the, the tights with the stirrups on the bottom. I mean, where yeah. have they gone? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, I mean, at Upper Perk, we had a single when I was competing. We called it, we literally called it the reject single. Yeah. It, was, it was just sent to us like samples. There's only like six of them. But, but it said uh, Upper Perk on But it? yeah, yeah. Ha well, yeah, they were, they, they sent them, uh, they were supposed to be blue, majority blue with one gold stripe, but they were all gold with a blue stripe. And, uh, I snagged one of those when I was competing. 7-3 our score here. Six, Six seconds. seconds to go. Palmer cruising a little bit. I mean, Wendell got a take down there at the edge of the mat. He's going to ride him out here for the rest of this period. Palmer's knee. Yeah, he's had problems with the knee. I don't know if that, right that popped end, out then. or whether he just tweaked it. Yeah, I'm not sure. That was uh, He's uh, in some pain. Yeah, he grabbed that thing almost 
almost uh, immediately off the whistle start there. I don't know if that's cramping up or not, but he's had problems, you know, injury problems. I'm not sure what this is, whether this is a cramp or whether he tweaked that knee. Trainer's getting right in there. So back to window though coming out of here. You know, was he injured in earlier in the year or not? Uh, yeah, he's I mean, dealing with some injuries early on. That's why I missed up the part of the season. Uh, you know, he had some issues with making 38. I think 38 was the weight class he originally wanted to go. T Matt, I mean, Hutchinson's big at 38, but look at Wendell now here. Like, you know, I know 38 was uh, was the was what he thought. I mean, he's big at 45. Yeah, he's a pretty good size 45 pounder. So, well, Coach Will's got him spread out up and down the lineup. You know, these guys, Coach Will's done a great job this yep. season. I think Paul. I think Palmer, you know, was just kind of cramping up. I mean, I know that knee's been a problem, but it seems to be fine now. Favorite so, like, just a little get down, bit there. Yeah, get down, get down on it a little gingerly there. See if Wendell can work on top. Now he's gonna let him go. Eight three or score here. Minute fifty five left in the period. We thought Wendell would a little bit look to ride a little bit. There's yeah, Palmer in a double, double shot there. He back trips him. They go out of bounds. Good counter there by Wendell, just getting out of bounds, not not giving anything up. That's a real nice level change by Palmer with that blow through double. He's going to need that at Hershey. Again, level changes, tapping the head. Palmer's looking to score some more here. He's got uh, he's got window reaching and stepping. It's only a matter of time where he gets that leg gets back to the legs. He's doing a good job of keeping him off balance and guessing. Window doesn't want to be guessing. He needs to get on his attack. Yeah, down down eight three here. Yeah, he, he needs period. to get to some more level changes and stuff. Palmer's kind of just dictating everything right now. He's just standing in front of him. Palmer uh, earlier with his teammates back in the locker room said, "All we need to do is win one of these matches out there, and we secure the team title." And he said that would be pretty cool to win a regional title. And I am. Yeah, Impressed with the kid, senior kind of leader. Good Ooh, move nice there by Wendell, a little trickery. Yep. Palmer trying to get out. Wendell had him tough there and tight, cinched up in that front head. And, you know, hard work. I mean, I, I think a lot of people take for granted wrestlers' hard work, but, I mean, Council Rock and the team has worked really, really hard. Sometimes they don't have the best talent, but they showed up with a ton of guys here winning matches. You don't Guys you don't know winning matches at regionals. And uh, they're led by guys like Palmer and Trampe, and just says a lot about uh, the program. I and had a chance to catch up with Coach Sill talking about that, Glenn. And uh, LJ Khan, a guy who was like their backup 32 or 38 pounder, makes the regionals at, at 52, and and I think he's wrestling for, nice for fifth place. Real nice right little person. Right Pat the cradle here. Cradle. He's got oh, he's got it. Trouble. This is tight. This for is you. his move right seconds. here. See if he can get it. He had it there originally. Weinberger's got to get there over there. Is. Got it. Great. Two seconds, Two seconds left there to go. That was a nice little transition there. He went double, actually changed to a single, and then uh, 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 Wendell looking in. Palmer is able to secure that cradle. Seen a lot of that cradle over the years. So Riley Palmer, he repeats as a regional champion as well. Yeah. He's going to have to get some ice on that knee and rest up. Yep. I'm sure Council Rock will turn it down. They've gone hard the last uh, three weeks here in preparation for regionals. We were over there prepping for districts. And some really great workouts with these guys. Great respect for all the kids in, in the district. I mean, you know, we even had some District 12 guys up there coming in. And, you know, as you know, Sam, I mean, that, that kind of camaraderie at this level just brings, brings everybody up a notch. Most definitely. They get, and they got some good young coaches over there in uh, Rappo and uh, Knobloch, too. 